Hey, this is Dial Too Fast here, and uh, I'm doing this video on this Ryobi 3-in-1 measurement tool. And this device can measure the temperature using the infrared sensor, and also has a sonic sensor for measuring distance, and it also has a built-in laser pointer. Now, if you look at the specs, it says that I can measure temperature from minus 22 degrees Fahrenheit to 518 degrees Fahrenheit. The distance is accurate up to 30 feet. You can also calculate the area and volume of a room. So if you're in a uh, real estate business, this could be a good tool to do quick measurements of a room area. Also comes with a 9 volt battery. So let's open this up and take a look. Now you'll see that on the front of this unit there's a power button over here, top right hand corner. There's also a centigrade and Fahrenheit uh, unit measurement, so you can go between the two. There's a mode button. The mode will switch between the distance measurement and the temperature measurement. And the X slash equal is for um, going from measuring distance, uh, area, or a volume or the volume of a room. So if I power this up and then I switch the mode, right now it's on temperature, but if I switch the mode you see that it's measuring distance. And if you look at the top left hand corner you see there's a line right now, but when I push this x slash equal it'll go to a square, which measures area, press it again, and it'll be volume. Okay, so I press it again, it'll go back to a a single distance measurement and the side has a trigger button so basically you press this trigger button to do the actual measurement. I'm going to do a couple of tests here and the first test I'm going to do is the distance measurement. What I've done is I've laid out a, a tape measure from the wall all the way down here is my tape measure stretched out to about five feet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to this tool right on the five feet mark. I'm gonna take a measurement here, okay? It says five feet four inches. So even though the front of the unit is at the five feet. I'm guessing what it's counting for is the actual length of this unit, which is about four feet. So if you butt this unit against a wall and do the measurement, it will account for the length of this unit also. So that is the measurement. And I'll just quickly show you the um, area measurement. I'll turn this off, turn it back on. Is that zero? If I do the area measurement, see the square at the top left hand corner? I take a measurement first. Okay, I let go. And then I do another measurement. I'm going to move this up to, say, four feet. And then it measures, it takes both measurement and it calculates the area of the room. Let's switch over to the uh, temperature. This is the temperature and again you can change it from centigrade to Fahrenheit. And I'm going to do a couple of tests here. And what you see is, uh, what you're seeing is a nightlight bulb which I'm going to try to do a measurement on this. Now when you're doing temperature it's best that you get as close as you can. So there's a zero as you can see. Oh, there's a laser pointer. I'm not sure if you can see it, but this is 81.1 Fahrenheit. If I take a measurement of the wall, 75.1. That, that is about the, the room temperature here, so do another one, 75.2. Another test I'm gonna do is 
I have two bottles of water. One is from the fridge. Okay, this one is from the fridge, and this one is room temperature. And let me take a measurement. 46.1 and this one is room temperature semi 3.1 so so far it seems to be a pretty good tool it's compact, it's lightweight, and and I think it's a, it's a good buy, you know, if you're looking for something that has multi-function on a measuring tool, this is a, definitely a, a neat little gadget to have. So, anyways, if you have any questions, uh, leave a comment, and if you like the video, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.